This is horrendous. I've never seen anything like it. It's huge. It's scary. And I sound like a TV journalist. On the night of October 12th, 2002, terrorists exploded bombs inside the Sari nightclub in Bali. 202 people were killed in total that night. Amongst the dead of many nations, faiths and creeds was Daniel Braden. He was 28. This is the story of his legacy. Seems a, it's been a, a long year, but also a quick year since um, I was in Bali last year. And to come back now and see the site clear and see the, see the um, memorial here done in such short time. This uh, memorial, good they bought this, uh, they actually bought this corner and did it. And we were here a couple of nights ago when it was still very much under construction. and. Now it's, it's really well done, really well finished. And good effort, very good effort indeed. Um, I don't know what happens now. Do we, are we able to move on? Let's hope so. In the aftermath of Dan's death, the Bradens had been faced by a dilemma. How would they choose to remember Dan's life? Well, after the bombings, we thought hard about why they'd happened. And we realised, of course, that it was to do with intolerance and misunderstanding. And so we thought that we would set up in Compass and we would be able to bring people from different backgrounds and different cultures together to uh, try and rectify that problem and in the hope that it would grow um, rather than being a stone monument which we stay static we wanted to encompass to reach out and and grow with the years well the great thing about encompass is it it brings young people from different areas of the world conflict areas together to work together on projects which generate cultural understanding and friendship. Um, not just sitting down in a room talking, but actually doing things together. And that's uh, a life-changing experience for the people involved. Encompass programs are carefully designed to allow young people from conflict zones around the world a chance to meet one another. The outward bound part of the program allows them to break down the preconceptions that we all have about people that we don't know, while the facilitated evening discussions allow them to approach issues of cultural understanding and conflict in a new light. I think it's good. So you're standing on top and really going, getting everything out of it. And what we but again, What's I need to go like that. Drop. Push him out, push him out. Oh. In a climate of understanding aided by the physical activities, discussions are initiated on often deeply personal and painful issues. So can you like share among each other what were the kind of, um, let's not put the prejudices or stereotypes, but on the other hand, ideas that you had. That the person will tell us while we will sleep. But now it's like another way around. Can you say things about stabby ladies? <laughs> <laughs> because then before we met them, about two weeks before we met them, a week before, we heard lots of stories about, um, and we heard, we heard like years ago about stories that, also the stories that I want to say them now, um, so that we can change these feelings. Yeah. Um, I would say that before I met all these people, I would have 
assume that all of them hate us because we're American and because of how our government acts towards these countries? I have no idea that we'd get on as well as this. I thought that would be like the Americans there, Palestinians there, Israelis there, the English there, and we'd be all in our little groups talking about whatever. I don't think we'd, I don't think we'd separate. With the Palestinians, like, some people, I wasn't, like, I didn't think they were going to stab me or something, but I wasn't sure if we could get along. Not all people, not all Americans are the same, and not all Palestinians are the same, not all Israelis are the same, and stuff like that. Oh, I was really scared, like, that people won't like my hair. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I know what happened. I know what happened. I don't know, they always portray, like, Jewish people to be, like, conservative and smart and intelligent. But when I met him, they completely changed. They completely changed. At the beginning, I was terrified. I didn't. We thought, like Palestinian, the first thing that pops in our head is terrorist because we don't know them. And that's what we hear all the time in the news. I knew that I had certain images and I knew that I wanted to change them. To see that there's human behind those, don't think they're monsters, but we hear, we hear a very monstrous side of them. So to see the human side and to really feel like you're their friends, no matter what, I feel that this is a great opportunity that I received. I thank God every day. I think he gave it to me to realize we're not, we don't exist alone in this world. And um, they're his son as well. Young people think they can't do anything to change the world around them. Any age, you can give, you can contribute, you can do your bit and make the world the place you want to see it to be. And the amazing thing about Encompass is it's a small charity that grew from an act of aggression, but it decided to try and make peace and to try and bring people together instead of counteracting aggression with more aggression or violence. And that's what changes the world. In the years since Dan's death, Encompass has grown and changed. From the first programs on board tall ships to the current programs with Outward Bound, Encompass is now beginning to be the legacy that the Bradens were hoping for. I do think Dan would have been proud of, of what Encompass has achieved so far, and we're very proud of, of what Encompass has achieved. Um, but I, I think he would realise, and we realise, that there's an awful lot more that we could all be doing. I think every young person has the chance of a fresh start. They don't have to repeat the hatred and violence of the situations in which they find themselves. And when they realise that other young people on the other side of the conflict are just the same as themselves, there's tremendous power for the human conflicts there.